Hey everybody, it's Richard Aaron Motor Diag, and today we've got an intermittent ABS ESP light coming on on a Vauxhall Corsa E. All right, okay, so our engine codes um, and ABS codes, I've done a full scan on this, this is all the codes in the car. So we've got a P0171 lean mixture adaption. Uh, and in the ABS, we've got a U0077, which is a CAN communication bus off fault, and we've got a U0401, which is engine control unit software error, data not plausible. Uh, I mean, my initial thoughts off this with an intermittent light is potentially these might be related, especially seeing as data not plausible and we have an engine fault as well. Um, yeah, uh, let's have a look at the engine, just, just see what it does, we'll see if it has actually got a lean fault, we'll see if it gives us any good information here. We not allowed actual values today. No, yeah, there we go. Fuel. Back. So we've got load fuel fuel system. Let's see if we got it. What we want in there. Fuel level sensor for C consumption. No, that is not what I want. Speed position, load, let's just go all values, see what we can find. I believe we're looking for like a fuel trim. Let's see if we can find the uh, O2 sensors as well. Full power enrichments there. Miss firing. I saw that there. Uh, so we've got mixer adaption, air fuel, uh, long term, short term. Uh, see what that comes up as. So short term is positive 26%, which is quite a lot. Long term is 33%. Enabled mixture adaption function in progress. I guess that's just in closed loop. Stored mixture adaption six, no idea. All I know is they definitely look like they're too high. Uh, when we rev it, does it come down? It does get a bit better when we rev it. The long term does stay up there, that's the the remembered memory. And it does actually start pulling it negative a bit there. And are we going to go straight back up or not? So I have seen a lot of these courses give issues with the EVAP valves sticking open which causes this uh, trim value to shoot up because it makes an air leak yeah 
you can all, almost sort of feel a fish bite you misfire in this when you're just sat in here as well. Right, what I might do is, because I've seen it before, I am going to have a quick look under the bonnet of that EVAP and see if uh, if we've got that stuck open. If not, we can we can go down the route and looking for some air leaks. Uh, I think that will be the next potential after that. Alright, so I'm under the bonnet here and at the back of the engine we've got the EVAP valve here. What I've done is I've pulled the pipe off the intake here. I've bunged it up and what we're going to try and do is I'll start it up again now and we'll see if that fuel trim corrects and hopefully that'll be a pretty good test for this. We can then get it off and um, we can see if it's stuck open as well. Right, so we're back in here now, um, and as you can see with that blanked off, we're instantly um, correcting this short-term fuel trim, which is good to see. Um, so I think we're onto something there. So now what I'm gonna do is we'll pull the valve off and we'll see if we can uh, blow through it. It should only be, it should be closed all the time unless it's asked to open and uh, let evaporative emissions through from the tank um, but I think this is a positive sign here because we can see that um, we're starting to make the fuel trim go negative instead of positive. Right okay so I popped the little evap valve out uh, just a pipe on the intake there another pipe there that goes back down to the tank and the electrical connection and uh, if you blow through it you can just hear it hissing away um, it, you know you can blow straight through it you know you shouldn't be able to do that it should be normally closed so what we're going to do is we're going to get this changed over there's the part number on it if you want to look at it uh, get that changed over and then clear all the codes down and let the customer have this back we'll take it for a run obviously and see if that resolves everything that it needs to um, I think it is I'm pretty uh, pretty confident on this one but you know We've got a fault here, this needs rectifying. It was complaining about uh, uh, a problem with data from the engine ECU, and this is a fault that was in there, and the only fault, so um, that's what we're going with. So I'll get that in, and um, we'll have a drive around, and if it's all good, and a couple of days time, if the customer's not got the complaint, because apparently it comes on quite often, um, then I'll inform you of what's happened.